So many things separate us. So many facets of our lives add to the illusion of other. We live in a world that's jarringly split along boundaries once thought to be imaginary, and now, guided by the idea of haves and have-nots, we turn a blind eye to issues we deem unrelatable. Period poverty has many faces and can rear its head among everyone, even people who are employed. Many members of our society are faced with the hard choice between groceries and essential menstrual products. This issue is more pervasive than we realize. Period poverty has many forms. It affects the youngest of us and the eldest. It respects no age, nationality, employment, or social status. Period poverty weaves its way so seamlessly into our everyday lives that hiding it has become second nature. It can easily be seen as a series of insufficiencies. Insufficient access to menstrual hygiene products due to financial instability or taxes on those products. Insufficient education about menstruation on the individual and societal level. Insufficient washing facilities, waste management, and even running water. People battling period poverty are forced to forego traditional feminine hygiene products in favor of less appropriate makeshift items. Toilet paper, newspaper, old rags, and even plastic bags are used during menstruation because better is simply not available. Millions of people around the world are forced to operate under its shadow. Many must live and work with the constant threat to their mental health, reproductive health, and physical hygiene looming ever-present on the horizon. It is important that we realize that period poverty isn't just limited to the process of menstruation. It hampers educational performance, livelihoods, and hangs unspoken in many of our day-to-day -day activities. Menstruation, an already uncomfortable process, can quickly take a turn for the worse. Period poverty in all of its forms leads to an increased risk of reproductive and urinary tract infections. Aside from these physical ramifications, period poverty gives rise to financial and educational setbacks that are even worse. People affected by period poverty tend to experience a decrease in work and academic performance during menstruation. Being at work can become very uncomfortable and some might be forced to remain at home altogether. Eradicating period poverty calls for a multifaceted attack on every contributing factor. One clear way to accomplish this goal is to make feminine hygiene products more accessible to the people who menstruate. The avenues for creating access are numerous. Eradicating the taxes on period products, doing away with the classification of period products as a luxury item, dismantling menstrual practices that discriminate against women and impede their participation in their daily lives, improving the distribution of basic needs such as clean water and housing, raising global awareness of the inadequacies pertaining to menstruation, Thank you.